Hey everyone. Well, today I'm going to be reviewing something for you guys that I've wanted to review for a while. But I think my new camcorder is the best thing to review it with. So here I give to you the 112th scale HY2M Gundam Beam Saber. I got this for Christmas a couple of years ago. And let me tell you, this is the fun little product. First, we'll take a look at the details. Lots of nice metallic inlay all along little parts of it, like nuts and bolts and all sorts of things. You've got panel lines that, if you so chose, you could line them with probably like silver paint or whatever this part right here you push in I don't know that I can do it quite right I think I need a I need a a, a pen and you take the pen and you push this in all the way and you I believe you slide it up a little and then that releases it and there you have the battery that this this thing needs it's screwed in right now but if you unscrew it you'll notice that there are other batteries on the back too that you need and I believe they're all the same AAA but I'm not positive on that anyway you push it back in like so and slide it down till it clicks now that's how you install the batteries How to use this is first you'd be advised to put this strap on whatever arm you're going to hold it with. Okay? Tighten it if you wish. You can do so here. Then you push this button. And when you do, the beam saber activates. No real beams, unfortunately. Now there's a few things you can do now. You can just swing it around as is, and you'll get sound effects when you hit something. If you'll look up in here, maybe I can get it to work. That flashing thing is the sensor, I believe. It detects the range from the beam saber to a solid object. So I will point this far away at the wall. The beam saber missed. There was nothing close enough for the sensor to reach, so it registers that as a miss. But if I point it at the table, Yeah, apparently I just became a new type. Anyway, <laughs> um, so you can just continue to swing this around. And sometimes it's a bit finicky and you just don't do it quite right and you don't get the effect. But generally it works pretty well. You can stab as well. It's got some kind of gyroscope or something in here that registers the way the thing is being moved so that when you will stab well I just missed because I wasn't pointing it at anything but you stab that's one kind of motion you slash that's a different kind of motion and it registers that 
and plays the appropriate sound effect. Now you've got two options. This button on the top I believe is for simulating a battle between you and another person who owns one of these beam savers. But basically it just is the same mode as what I was just doing before. You know, you just swing it and you hit stuff and it acts like, you know, you're clashing beam sabers with another person who has their own and well, whatever. I've not been able to try that out, obviously, because I've only got this one. Then you have this button, and when you push this, you enter what's known as the mission mode. And basically what happens is you get a brief little Japanese introduction of a scene from the show, like Amuro saying something, and when you get the special new type sound you have to swing the beam saber at the right time and then you've hit your enemy of the of the day and then that's pretty much the end of the game it's nothing complicated but it just adds a little spice a little flavor to this instead of just making it a swing around and do nothing with it but that so here we go. I missed. Wait, no. My beam saver is in the enemy, and I pull it up, and he blows up. And now I'm a new type again. But anyway. This is a very fun little play thing, and after this mission mode thing ends, you can continue to do another one. And you can just keep going, and there's tons of different voiceovers and things. Uh, what I don't like it is like when you miss or you don't do it at the right time, there's this angry Japanese guy who just yells at you. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but um, that's the beam saber in and of itself, and all the modes. This little thing here, if you push that, I believe that like. Um, resets the thing somehow or turns it off or does something I'm not sure but anyway <clears throat> when you're done push that button and your your beam goes away and then you have just a nice looking beam saber handle and that's what I like about this as well it's not just a play thing it really does look pretty nice I mean nothing seems too toyish about the thing. It looks almost like a scale replica of a real beam saber. It's got plenty of detail and nice metallic shiny stuff going on. And I like that. And when you're not using it, you can store it in this clear little display stand, which you can rest like so on the table, or I believe you have the option of putting <clears throat> putting screws through this part here and hanging it off your wall so you can be like that but I don't want to do that because it's very slidey and it'll just it might bump off or something but anyway the thing that just fell is intended to go along with the 112 scale big jumbo huge gigantic figure of the RX 78 2. You plug it in like so, and then you can use this as an adapter to plug into that figure's backpack. Of course, I have no such figure, so I can't really try it out. But here, there you have it. The 112 scale HY2M 
Gundam Beam Saber. Very fun, very nice thing. And it looks good, and it's great fun. It retails for about 4,000 yen, maybe $40, somewhere in that ballpark. Pricey, yes. Fun, you bet. If you're a Gundam fanatic, you can't say no to this. So anyway, there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed the review, and until the next time, catch you later.